Okay, YouTube family, let's talk about it. It's your favorite girl. Okay, guys, so you know your favorite girl is back. And I'm here to do a reaction to y'all boy CJ So Cool new video that he uploaded, okay? And the name of the video is... I broke up with my girlfriend and this is what she had to say. So I did sit down and listen to the video. And I must say, CJ, you need to add actor to your goddamn bio, okay? Because your ass is an actor too. Now, CJ, I always thought you had plenty of talent. I always thought you had a lot of potential. But you know, some people... You know, we tend to make like bad choices in life. And, you know, it's a part of life because, you know, some decisions are not good choices. But when the whole situation went down, and see, if you paid attention, because see, some people seem to think I hate CJ. Listen, I don't hate no one. But if you see the very first video that I uploaded speaking on the whole situation with CJ, I was actually on CJ's side. When the home invasion happened, initially, I was on his side. Cause I was like, these people jealous. Who did this shit to him? They jealous. But as it went on and he started coming for runs, I was like, oh hell no nigga, we not about to do this. You not. So when he started going for royalty, it just made me look at him differently. And I always thought when Bride of Chucky came in the mix, I always knew she was the goddamn assistant. If you had paid attention to my goddamn videos, I've been saying her ass was the assistant with benefits. Okay? Because remember when CJ on 32 went down there? When CJ on 32 went to go visit and he was showing that house. Okay, and Bride of Chucky was there. And remember when CJ on 32 did that video talking, I'm going to take CJ So Cool assistant. We already knew she was, that's how, how she came around in the first place. She came in as the goddamn assistant. But when you saw that CJ on 32 got all them goddamn views saying that he was about to take um, Bride of Chucky, that's when he said, oh, you know what? You know what? Let, let's, let's say we together, you know? Let's see what see what this is about. So it was really for views. I told y'all a long time ago, he ain't never like that goddamn girl. Y'all gonna learn to listen to me when I be goddamn talking, okay? I already said he ain't like her. I already said that shit. And when he went on that goddamn podcast and said that he slept with her the same night, oh, no, let me, let me tell you something. When a man respect you, he is not gonna put that out for the world. He's not gonna embarrass you in front of the world so the simple fact that he went publicly and said that she was somebody he slept with the same night he pretty much said in the podcast that he was only dealing with her because of her puss that was it and it's it's sad to me that she didn't watch the video and, and heard him say that and she still stuck around and then you got damn teacup over there stirring that goddamn cup because some people want to know why I call her Teacup. Let me explain. Have y'all ever saw that movie Get Out? The movie Get Out. Remember the lady with the goddamn Teacup that hypnotized that black boy? CJ was the same situation. And if you paid attention to his video, he said it. He said, some people think I'm in a trance saying that I need to get out. He's saying that shit because he heard me say that shit. Teacup, that's why I call her as Teacup. She's the lady. If you never seen the movie Get Out, go watch Get Out. Pay attention to the mama with the goddamn Teacup. That's why I call her ass teacup, okay? But I just never, they just didn't look like a good couple to me. And, I, and it has nothing to do with her race. It has nothing to do with her race at all. I just felt like CJ was just too old for her. He was, he he's 10 years older than her. I feel like she still got a lot of living to do. You know, she still need, she, she needs to go live her life. She don't need to be with the man who having problems with his baby mothers. And he has three kids. And he's going through a court case. He don't got shot. You know, he don't been through a lot. So, she should have had, go sit her ass down in her house. But she want to be known so goddamn bad. She want to be seen so bad. She want to be CJ so cool, girlfriend so goddamn bad that she didn't give a damn. I just felt, you know... As someone that was watching this situation unfold, I just felt like CJ needed time for himself. He needed to heal. But CJ have a lot going on mentally. And I've been saying this shit that he need to go sit down and he need to go sit on somebody's couch and get himself together. Because 
the trauma that he experienced for not having his mother. He pretty much grew up without his mother or his father. And that's kind of hard. Even though he's in his 30s, that's going to always fuck with him because he wanted because he didn't experience what it's like to have true love from his mother so it's going to forever scar him so when he met royalty and he saw how close royalty was with her mother he was like wow you know, because he didn't have that. He didn't have a mother to support him in the way that royalty mom supports royalty. So when royalty mama was willing to open up her door and allow this stranger to come in her home, not only around her daughter, but her grandkids, you know, he should have forever been thankful. But I just, you know, what threw me off with Brad Chuck, I just didn't like how she was just, ooh. Girl, Russ, I would have had caught a flight, girl. Let me stop. I just, I didn't like how she was running her mouth. See, you know, I was kind of open to the situation with him and Rossi, but when she started running her mouth and speaking on Rossi, I was like, oh, no, 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 pump your bricks. Pump your bricks, Brian and Chucky. You better be careful with your goddamn words, girl. That's why she put that video out talking about she, she walking with Call of Duty. You better walk with Call of Duty security because you got a lot of bitches that want to whoop your ass, girl. So you better have them on standby all the time. Okay, let me get back to it. But I just feel like, you know, that whole situation with him and her, it, it shouldn't have never been. It shouldn't have never been. And I feel like with her, she caused a lot of conflict between him and Rossi. I think... The situation with him, royalty, CJ on 32, Bait 100, none of that shit probably would have went down if it wasn't for Bride and Chucky. I felt like she came in, she disturbed the energy of the channel. She came in, you know, running her goddamn mouth. She came in, you know, dressing like a damn a P. And you know, y'all know what a P is, P R. Y'all look it up. But she, she didn't have to, you know, she was just not a good example for the channel. You know, you went from being with royalty, you know, more laid back, more conservative hands-on parent to a woman that was dressing inappropriate crop tops coochie cutter shorts you know just she did not have the look for the channel so i'm actually glad and I, i'm hoping you know because we're we gonna have to hook you up to the polygraph test but i'm hoping this whole situation that you you saying is that happened is true i really did i really do hope that you ended things with her you know if you're going to keep her around let her be the girl on the side just in case you want to release one but as far as being in a relationship making her a wife she is not for you cj at the end of the day you grown you can do whatever you want with your life you can make decisions for your life it's your life but as far as making her be your wife no she is not for you she is not for you so now i need to go through the healing process like you said in there about your mental health yes i've been saying this shit go sit on somebody's couch you know do a few sessions with them so you can go cry and release some of that hurt that you got and then eventually bring your mama in and she can sit on the couch too and let her know how you really feel so you and your mom can move past that because you got to understand life is short you only get one mom so you need to end things with your mom okay now, I'm not sure what's going on with your brothers. It seems like you and Kenny is okay. I haven't been seeing Jenks in the picture, so I don't know what's the deal with that. But, CJ, you need to tune down your life. You know, some people get on YouTube and, you know, they get a hold to all of this money and they just go out of control. Because, you know, a lot of black people, and I hate to use this, but don't really come for money. So, when they do get it, they don't know how to act. You know, they got to buy all these heavy-duty equipment necklaces. You got to buy all these heavy-duty bracelets and goddamn rings and shit spend all this money on these expensive clothes and expensive cars to prove to the world that you got money but what you got to understand is a lot of white men walking around rich as hell billionaires and you would never know because they not flashy they don't they don't go out there making a statement they don't go out there putting all these heavy i've never seen a white boy with all them necklaces on their neck <laughs> all them rings and shit you you don't see that because they just they regular so I hopefully, you know, you'll tune down your lifestyle. You don't need a big ass mansion. You don't need those things. Trade in the Lambo truck. I'm tired of seeing that car. Trade it in. Go get you another goddamn car. Get you a Nissan Altima. 
trade that goddamn car and go get you an apartment. There's nothing wrong with an apartment. They got nice luxury apartment buildings with security that you can move into. You do not need a big ass mansion. You do not need this big ass 15,000, 20,000 square feet house for what? And it's just you. Regardless if your kids are coming through or not, you don't need all of that. It's okay to tune down. Tune down your goddamn lifestyle and get your mind together. Okay. Once you, once you get yourself together, take some time to yourself once you get yourself yourself together then maybe you know entertain a relationship with a woman but she needs to be close to your age you need someone you're 33 34 damn near 40 you're gonna need somebody at least in their 30s you need someone that that has established themselves maybe had a kid so they can understand you know your situation with you having kids you know you need somebody that's relatable but Brad Chucky, you no. Know. Now, CJ, if I sit here and I be nice, because I've been nice throughout this goddamn video. Now, if I sit here and be nice and you turn around and have her back on your goddamn channel, CJ, I'm coming for both of y'all asses because I'm trying to be nice in this goddamn video. As for Big Red, she need to stay in Gary. Bringing her and her daughter down there is just not going to make sense. I understand you want to be hand, a hands-on father. I understand that you feel like having her daughter on a channel is going to bring in the views and all the other stuff. But no, you need to go ahead and let her know she needs to stay in Gary. Okay, because her coming is going to make shit worse. You already know how she feel about you. So bringing her, you know, and I'm still, I'm still shocked that this woman is willing to do this. I mean, at the end of the day, she grown too. She can do what the hell she wants to. But I don't think it would be a good idea for her to come. She need to stay her ass in Gary, okay? Because she not going to bring nothing to the goddamn channel neither. You see what's going on on her channel. What the hell can she bring to your channel? They ass need to stay in Gary. You need to work on learning on... Learn how to be by yourself, okay? It's okay, all right? Leave her ass in Gary. Do not bring her ass down, Okay? But anywho, guys, what do you think about some of the things that I say in this video? What do you guys think? Comments are open for discussion. Do y'all think this whole breakup is real? Do you think CJ needs to bring his baby mama down? Do you think she need to come? Drop down to the comments. Until the next video.